The thing to remember about Thomas Edison and his contribution was that uh, Edison was very much the equivalent of, say, a Steve Jobs, um, in that um, not everything that comes out of Apple was invented by Steve Jobs, and not everything that came out of the uh, Thomas Edison company was personally invented by Edison. So the Edison company and people working for him uh, got the American patent on, uh, on the first practical uh, motion picture camera. And Edison was, um, by this point, as much a businessman as an inventor, and vigorously defended his patents um, to the extent that nobody else was allowed to make pictures in America or have them distributed unless Edison was paid a royalty. Now people clearly didn't want to do this and uh, independent filmmakers at that time which would try to hide out from Edison who would hire both lawyers and stronger men, thugs, to break up the filming and destroy the cameras and so people would hide out from them and uh, it had a terrible effect on the quality of a lot of American films because um, if you were an independent filmmaker and most of them were based in a place called Fort Lee in New Jersey which was just outside New York on the East Coast and uh, people would be very creative because you needed a lot of light um, because the film stock at the time needed a lot of light but you're still on the East Coast of America where it, where it can rain a lot and you're also quite near to where Edison was based, or to where the Motion Picture Alliance was based. And so there was always the terrible danger that uh, someone would discover your filming and, br and break your camera. I mean, they got very good at it. They would just come in and they would shoot your camera. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's quick and it's easy and it stops it filming. Now, everybody got completely fed up of this. And eventually, um, the, the makers of independent makers of film decided to move to rural California um, and they eventually settled in Hollywood which at the time was pretty much a village 